Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. Back to do week 38 and hopefully week 39 of the Margaret Miller's um, weekly uh, collage challenge planner, planner challenge, whatever you want to do it. But look at how thick this thing is already. Oh my god, I love it. I love the thickness of this. So, okay. So let's make sure we're not skipping any pages. Um, at the end of 39, we're going to put make a pocket. All right. So um, we'll do we'll glue it together, but I won't do the thing until we do week 40 on there. So okay. So week 38. Uh, once again, I'm going to use this as background. So. How is everyone doing? Great, I hope. I am pre-recording. I have a few things I have to get done this week, so pre-recording. And this also helps me get all caught up this way, too, because once I get caught up, this will go back to, or this will go to oh, doing it just once a week. So i um, not sure what day I will do it on. Possibly Tuesday, maybe Monday. I don't know. Maybe Monday. That way it's done. <laughs> and uh, and then <clears throat> um, I'm going to start working on. I'm gathering all the stuff I want to do for this next journal. She wants something that is shabby, chic, and, and um, kind of steampunky, leather, lacy kind of thing. <laughs> so we're going to try and accommodate as much of that as possible if we can get it to go together. Even, you know, that's what our whole goal is, <clears throat> is to do a theme. I already chose a box for it. Send her some pictures and make sure that that's what she wants to do. And then I'm um, hoping that I'm going to start. Um, I got to, I want to kind of take a look at the fabric journals. Um, I haven't gotten all of them yet from Crafty Cat. I have one right now, which I showed you guys before. Um, I, I got some ideas, so I'm going to have to like sit down and kind of write it out, kind of what I want to do <clears throat> on it, um, kind of thing, so, uh, <clears throat> let's see, I really don't have a background on this, so let's put one on here, um, oh, let me just pick a color here, what color did we get, carved pumpkin, well, it's close enough to fall in this Thing to do some <clears throat> pumpkin in here, right? Sorry, <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. <clears throat> I think it's because I uh, had to yell at the dog earlier and I yelled pretty loud for her to hear me because she managed to get out of the fencing, which is not good. And uh, <clears throat> I have like seven acres that she. <laughs> I mean, it's not a, a crap ton, you know, but when you're trying to run after a dog, that can be a lot. So I just didn't want her to go too far. She's chasing a bunny. And the bunny took off at the uh, edge of the um, the uh, property over there. And uh, the other side of my fence, there's a really thick thicket of, and, and uh, like trees and brush and stuff. And then there's the highway. So I didn't want her to um, <clears throat> run off through there, obviously. But bunny, bunny, foo foo. <laughs> she said, and I don't. I, she managed to squeeze her piney, which we never thought because it was it's kind of like up. So she kind of jumped up and enough. I'm like those pills must be working pretty good because. Normally she just she'd bark at the bunny and she'd whine a little bit, but then she's like, Phew. she'd let it go, you know. 
not now. I need to find me one of those um, little eraser pad things that <coughs> Amy, I've seen Amy using over there at Crafty Cat. She uses it to get rid of. I have a one of these. It's like the pencil style erasers. And it works okay with some, some of the glue, but the problem is, is if the eraser gets dirty, you have to kind of make sure that you keep it clean. It will <clears throat> transfer any of that dirt to the uh, glued area. And I don't like that at all. <clears throat> so, all right, let's get this on here. And then we can start our prompts. This was certainly fun. I can't believe I'm almost caught up. Yay! <laughs> it it was fun to catch up though. Some of those weeks though, I was like, Whoa, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I'm not catching my corners on these. All right, so prompt number one, a library ephemera, such as a lending card, catalog card, or a checkout receipt. So I have a library card. It's from Top Notch Teacher Products, Inc. This is a newer one, obviously, but maybe we can put a stencil or something on it and make it look a party, a party party. Um, something electronic. So I got a picture of a old retro telephone and we actually had a phone this color just like that. And then, you know, in the center, you always put your area code and your phone number in there, which I always thought was funny because it's like, you don't know your own phone number. <laughs> I guess maybe that's if somebody else was using the phone, they, they knew what number they were calling from or something. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we had a telephone just like this one. <laughs> I seen that one and was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta have it. All right. All right. And then it says uh, washi tape. So I have tons. We'll just need to figure out what color we want to go with when we're all said and done, right? Okay. And then something red. So I got, uh, you know, the red slippers. I had to, you know. I was looking at sneakers. I was going to do like something retro completely with like Converse sneakers or something. And, and I was like, I seen these and I was like, yeah, let's do the red slippers. Oh, yeah. What a world, what a world, what a world. <laughs> that still cracks me up every time I see it. I mean, I could, I could, I just love those old movies. I mean, I know to some people they're boring. I don't understand why, because I guess maybe there isn't enough sex or something. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I love the old classics like that. Breakfast at Tiffany's and oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then it says uh lined paper. So I have some coffee uh stained paper that hmm, my friend Cindy sent for me. And it smells so delicious. I think she used like a cinnamon coffee. Or she added cinnamon to it or something. So we'll, we'll use this. It's uh, lined on one side and graphed on the other. So we'll use the line section on one. 
and then some architecture. So I have a little graphic here. I know it should probably be cut very straight and because that's how they are. You know, everything is squared and squared off or fits within a square or something. So, <laughs> so that is our bonus. I liked this. It's pen and uh, pe or, pen, yeah, pen and gear. I think it is the Walmart brand. I haven't been able to find it. Um, of course, I haven't really gone back and just delved into looking for it anywhere. Um, I still have a couple pads left of it, so I will uh, continue to avocado buy them until they're gone. But. And with any luck, we'll be able to do another dye. i got to do envelopes and stuff. Um, I had enough dye the last time, but I ran out of time to use it because once it, the dye really starts to degrade if you let it go too long. Got the telephone. Hello, hello. Some little shoes there. Hello, hello. I'll do like that. Or should we put this down here? Like so. So you got, like, we could match up the lines a little bit. And then have a straight across piece to it. No, I don't like that at all. I'll put the telephone in there and some shoes right there. Hello, hello. Okay. That looks good to me, I think. Okay, right, sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, let's do something with this card here. I'm thinking we could put a pretty, pretty floral stencil on here. Make a bigger one. I could make it pink or we could do it red. I'm thinking maybe red. Uh, let's see. Give us some really good. We got festive berries or candied apple. Again, those are some darker. Abandoned coral. Festive berries. That's kind of red. That's coral is really orangey coral. Candied. Dark in the middle. So 
Sorry about that. Watches, I think, trying to tell me I need to stand up. Stand up, dummy. It is a cozy out, so it's kind of dark in the middle there. I like that. And then I think we could probably just go over this very lightly. But what I want to try and do is see if I can. Um, I don't know if I can. match that up. I'm just going to lightly go with this. So it's very, very light. It's lighter. So kind of like that. like that. And then our little baby shoes. Watch out there. Missing something, I know. I don't know what. Um, everything is red, red or pink, right? <laughs> um, so we'll do our numbers in black, I think. Yeah. Right. That's going to need to get cleaned. Okay, I do. And we have washi tape too that we're going to need to use, so. Let's see, do we want to use a pink? How about we use a, let's see if I can find a red one. That might go nice. Just a, a thin thing of washi down there. That red, I think, would look divine. <laughs> okay, so. Lined paper first, I think. Our, our library card. And I got a little goopy on there. In that corner. But that's okay because I seem to keep missing my corner somehow. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. All right. There we are. And our telephone. That is our electronic device or our el something electronic. Right, I mean, telephones are, yeah, plug them in, and I guess they're, you know, on my fingers, and it's going all over the place, and where did I put that? And there it goes. of architecture. I'll put that there. And then our little shoes there. Get it on the page, Denise. Okay. So now what I want to do is I think I want to put a piece here and a piece here. Should I put two different pieces, do you think? 
Um, let's see, strawberries. I think I like the salt. Should have a piece that goes up. No, I think I like it going down this way. I think I'll do this. Should we do it on the other side of our edge, or should we cut? I don't like covering that edge. It's gonna look funny there. Maybe we should just put it like there. And leave our edge open. I kind of like that. I do what I do. Should we just do maybe a small little piece here somewhere going a different direction? I don't know. Um, it may not symmetrically look okay because everything. Maybe a small smidgen of a piece that goes down there or something. Right? There we go. Oh, I like that one. It's not my best, not my worst, but I need it. So, we're going to stick with that, I think. And I do believe we need to put some numbers on here. And we're going to do those in black. So we need 38. Oh boy, two humped. Two of them humped. I don't know. That's a three and the eight. Oh, here's an eight. Look right there. Let's go right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Found it. Found an eight. How about a three? I don't want to dump them out, you know. Should have pulled these out earlier. Yeah, I should have. Let me dig through. Let me pause and dig through these real quick. Okay, so I think we could put like the 38 here, kind of like in the middle. Yeah, I like that. Kind of breaks up that red in it. So let's do that. Oop. You just need glue on one side, dummy. Come on. It's got a thin line right there. Don't it? Ooh. Oh, 
motion you just kind of got to drag the glue across <laughs> with the with the nozzle there the tip of it hope that it sticks go through a uh, library ephemera such as a linen card catalog card or a checkout receipt which we have right here a catalog card um, something electronic I chose a phone that like a very old phone uh, washi tape which we put in three different places something red well that's red but we uh, I also put the um, glass slippers from um, or the ruby slippers from Wizard of Oz lined paper which we also decorated with some red on there and architecture so a little like slur or something whatever it is so all right so that was week 38 we have plenty of time to do 39 so oh, my uber she's mad at me for some reason i don't know what because she just ate so we came in she ate <laughs> Okay, so here is 39, and I gave myself a little note with a page to get something. Hopefully this one is going to be a little fun that we would do and put it together, have a little fun with it. So, yep. hold the ruler to the paper and then pull <laughs> see I did not know I mean I knew that you could there's planners out there, but I wasn't sure. I did not realize that the planners have these printed on them already. If I would have known that, I should have just got the gosh darn planner. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a lot quicker for sure. So. This one will be a little bit funner, I think. Or at least I'm going to try and make it fun. <laughs> for me, it'll be fun. Maybe not for everyone, but for me. It... And since it's going to end up being my planner anyway, so. Because Lord knows I'm going to need it for next year. For all that. Uh... Oh, I didn't put anything on the back of it. I'll figure something here.
Maybe we'll stamp on it. Then do a little something sharp down on there. Okay, so in a wrapping paper, I have a wrapping paper. Okay, and then something shaped in an oval. Um, I chose, I went through and was looking through my sticker book, and that's what the sticker was to remind me, page 11. So we're going to use this sticker down here. It's a floral oval. Uh, something with legs. And did I mark my things? I think I did. Oh, well. Um, a cow. Cute, 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 cute cow. Uh, a tree and so I chose a Chinese um, crab apple tree um, something out of the recycle bin um, I don't have a recycle bin I don't live in the city we burn our um, excess trash and then of course we our plastics and stuff are all separated we keep you know um, our glass and our plastics are put in in uh, that's what we have our trash pick up for essentially and big bulky things um but uh <clears throat> we burn we had a big burn barrel we use for that so all right <clears throat> so we got a tree and we got a cow and we got the wrapping paper all right so i use my recycle my paper recycle bin because i reuse it so that is a recycle bin for me and bonus rubber stamping on any color except black oh that's why i didn't put anything down so we need to do a different color other than black so we'll look at maybe oh i don't know what color what color should we use today um to use a very light pink but we've got a lot of pink in there already don't we um, maybe some uh, potting soil. I like that color. Okay, and we'll do some stamping. Um, yeah, I had. I think I pulled this out to use for the for this, but I, I really kind of like that one better. So we'll use that. Okay, so let's cut our little cutie patootie cow out. Yeah. She's a cutie, isn't she? Just adorable. I thought she was cute. She's a little um, Holstein cow. She looks like the little cows that are outside my window all the time. Of course, it's really not a girl cow because it's got horns, so it's actually a boy cow. In fact, we could just come in here and go like this and cut. <gasps> we cut them all off. See? Cut the horns off and everything. I know, you're like, why are you cutting? It's white against white, but you can kind of see. Oh, she's got some tufts of hair. Because we're going to make her a girl. See how easy it was to make her a girl? <laughs> Just cut the horns off. Because the uh, other anatomy is not visible in this picture. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> I would not have selected it if it had been. Should have, I should have fussy cutted this one out, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of hoo 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 with it.
sticking at me. Yeah, it was. Poking at me. Tissue, tissue, tissue paper. gotten my ruler yet. It's not my Amazon day yet. Wednesday. <laughs> Tomorrow. I should get my new ruler. Should have really put a... Of course, they don't mean nothing. They tell me, oh yeah, you'll get it and whatever. Um, but out here, <laughs> they deliver it to our the bigger post office, which is 12 miles away, and tells us, oh, it's, it's, it's sufficed because it was delivered was delivered to a post office who is not going to deliver it for another day or two. So I, I just think that's horse hockey that they can get away with that. So, But they do. Okay. So. I don't know if I'm going to put my little cow cow there, but I want to do something with her. Okay, I'm gonna do I have everything okay and then we're gonna stamp. I don't want to stamp on my cow, so we're gonna put our cow on last. Okay, so let's get this glued down. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna rubber stamp. Hmm. Uh -huh. What, what, what do I want to rubber stamp? And get a big old chunk that gets into your glue, those edges, makes me mad. 
I don't know, it just bugs my OCD, I guess. Because I don't like it. Stamping, 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 stamping. All right, let me find a stamp. Okay, I have these old Stampin' Up stamps oh, from a long time ago. In fact, if you can see, very <laughs> have not been used hardly at all. So they're like 2002. Almost 20 years old, these things are. Wow. Okay. So. Do some stamping here. Not in my corners. Coming up again there. I don't know what it is with me and my corners lately. the fourth one is there's supposed to be another one to this I don't know where it is I don't want to stamp over that Oop. I'm done. <laughs> I'll sit here and, and stamp it over the whole darn thing. It's only supposed to give us a couple little stamps, right? It says. All right. So what I want to do is, um, okay, I'm gonna cut her head off. And you're probably like, you're doing what? <laughs> See, you see. Now I'm gonna take this sticker. sticker but I'm going to use my glue on the back side to stick it back down. <laughs> I don't know if this was such a good idea. Right? head. So I think I need to put her, her body on first. She got them corners. Get 
fucking poor little head right there on the end. Like, you know, like her head's through the... You know. And she's got a wreath on her head. <laughs> I hope that's what it transfers to. Does it look like that? I guess so, yeah. A little bit. I think maybe it kind of needs to come down a little bit more. Like that, I think. Yeah, I think it's so cute. It's different and it's cute and I like it. So, okay. <laughs> I'm being silly now. I know. But, anyhow, uh, so I think that is everything with the exception of our number, which I um, am going to stamp here in a second if I can find my number stamp. I need 39. Right, three. And I can take that six and flip it upside down for nine. 39. 39. What color? I'm going to put it in the potting soil, I guess, again. I think so. I think that's my son whistling at me, trying to tell me he's hungry. He's ready for dinner. Mom! Three, nine, thirty-nine. There we go. Oop! All right. There's a little cow, cow. She got her little oval wreath on. Uh -huh. I should have cut out like all the way around it and just had that portion I, and now that I think about it, but it's so cute. It is so cute. So anyway, so that is week 38 and week 39 done. Oh my gosh, you guys, we only have a few more left and I am caught up. I can't believe it. Yay. Okay. So until week 40. Um, we will, we will, uh, actually, let's go ahead and do that now. We have the time we do. I want to glue this together so that um, we have this and this. Uh-oh. We're not stuck in book of glue. Stuck a book blue. Okay, and here, and as soon as we're done decorating 40, we can clip our little, our little thumb thing in there. So, and that way we have a pocket there for the next quarter, the last quarter, to put some tags or paperwork or anything else we want to store in there, notes, cards, whatever. So, anyhow, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. So, we have done 38 and 39 and our next one hopefully we will do 40 and 41 and until then guys plenty of hugs loves and blessings bye guys